Hey everybody, it's Friday. Time for Facebook Friday. Hope you guys have had a great week. It's been two weeks since I saw you guys last. Last week was our snowmageddon here in South Texas. We are fully reco recovered and I am glad to be back. All right, good, I see you guys jumping on. Let's see if I can find me. All right, looks like we're working. Boy, I will tell you that I will never take things like electricity and water and internet for granted, that's for sure. All right, let me share this over here. All right, now open, let me see your comments. Hello, hi, Kathy and Kathy. It's good to see you guys, thanks for joining me. So this week, it's the last week of celebration. Actually, it ends Sunday. So what do we have? A little more than 48 hours. Um, celebration went by really fast this year. Hey, Carla. Good to see you. Hey, Lisa and June. Hello. All right. So this catalog. We've had two months of celebration. Typically, celebration ends at the end of March. And we have three months. And usually by this time, we're all like, meh, celebration. You know, <laughs> we've played with everything. So I think that's why they shortened it, so that we wouldn't get tired of all the celebration items. And now that they've shortened it, I feel like I haven't had nearly enough time to show you all of the amazing stuff that's in this catalog. The, I will say my most favorite product, well, I'm gonna show you some things in a minute, but my most favorite pro product, if I had to pick one, they said, you're going to a deserted island, what celebration product do you want? <laughs> It would be the Flower and Field Designer Series paper. And guess what? I have not used, I have not showcased it during Facebook Friday. I haven't used it for a class. I've used it here and there. I used it for some team training, but I didn't use it with you guys. So I don't know why that was. I don't know. Um, but I do love it and I've ordered extras, so it will be around for a long time. Hi guys, it's good to see you. So um, I'm gonna flip you guys around. I'm gonna show you a few things. Um, I got some really cute cards. Let's see, I'll show you the cute cards that I got. Now they're gonna be backwards. Let's see if I can change it so it won't be backwards um, because you guys really have to see these cards. Okay, let's see, flip. Oh, that looks so weird. It looks very backwards. That's weird, it looks even smaller. Okay, all right, go away. All right, so I got some cards in the mail this week that I just have to show you, okay? This is from Tina. And look at the donkey, and look what he's kicking, 999,999. <laughs> and then in the inside, it's the one million. Isn't that adorable? Tina, I love it, it's super cute. This one will be saved forever and ever. That was very, very clever, so thank you. And she's using that gingham paper. Tina, you know me pretty darn well. So there's our donkey. I'm totally backwards and this is weird now. So. Super cute. Hey, Nathan, who was that? Oh no, Nancy. Hi, Nancy. It's good to see you guys again too. You know, I rarely cancel Facebook Friday. I've done, I did it last December when I was really sick, which now makes me think it was COVID that I had last December, not this December, but last December before we knew what it was. And then I had to cancel it last week because we literally just got our electricity and water back Friday morning. I had not showered. Since Sunday, it was awful, you guys, awful. It really made me think about um, how blessed we are to live in the United States where normally we don't have to worry about those things. Um, it was really strange too because when the power would go out, so would our cell phones. Like we suddenly wouldn't have cell service, which was scary. Um, and what would happen here is the, the power would come on for four minutes and then it would go out for like four hours. And then it would come on for four minutes and then go out for two hours. And then come on for three minutes. It was awful. So that was the first maybe 36 hours. Then after that, it went out for good. Um, and I can deal with no electricity, but I cannot deal with that water. It was really interesting to see <laughs> how you handle that. Flushing a toilet takes a ton of water. You know, we always have a lot of water bottles for the kids, for exercising, all that. They went like that. You need a lot of water. It really makes you think about what you need to have on hand in case of emergencies. Anyways, 
Yeah, and you're right, Carla. Was it Carla who said that about it? They, I kept saying that. Thank God it wasn't August. I would much rather it have been 10 degrees outside than 110, because <laughs> hot is awful. Anyhow, okay, here's a card. This is really cute. This is from Bonnie. She's on my team. And I just have to show you how amazing this card is. Look at this. I mean, it is, it is so big. Okay, but also look how it like does this really amazing folding thing here. Bonnie, you're, you're like a card architect. That is super, super cool. So thank you. That was really, really cute. Um, and then I got this card. And I think this was a, yeah, this was a thank you card from Jill. And it has that, what do you call that? Kaleidoscope or shutter, like a camera shutter. Isn't that beautiful? Gorgeous. I just am always so impressed. You know, looking at a card in person is totally different than looking at it online. It totally looks different. It's not, it's definitely more inspiring when you see it in person. Um, and then look at this one. This one came from Kathy Morgan. Um, and it's the paper we're gonna use today. Isn't that gorgeous? The paper that we're using today is a celebration paper, this um, paper blooms. And the flowers, um, she fussy cut them beautifully, um, but the flowers can be cut out. They're just, they're, this paper is really, really, really good. And I'm really sad that <laughs> it's leaving. Um, but anyway, thank you for those beautiful cards. Um, what do I wanna show you? Okay, let's just go through real quick what's leaving us. If you have this catalog, you need to know that everything in this catalog is leaving on Sunday, okay? On Sunday. Um, yeah, thank you guys. It's called iris folding. Interesting, I wouldn't have thought of that iris folding. Hmm. Okay, so here's the donkey. Let's review the donkey. Don't forget, if you haven't gotten Darling Donkey, I, I, I think this may have been the most popular. I don't know. And I think it changes, like what people get their first order. And then in February, maybe the number one thing changes because they already got that. I don't know. And here's one. I don't know. Did I ever even show this card? I think I might have posted it on my blog using the Paper Blooms paper. So cute. Here's one. Now the corner bouquet stamp set hasn't been super popular. I will tell you, I think it's probably the least chosen of when I am doing classes and people get to pick free celebration items. I think it's the least one that's been chosen. However, there are some amazing things on um, Instagram in particular that people are doing with this stamp set. Check it out, don't discount it. Um, it is really, um, they're using it not in the corner. A lot of people are using it differently. So make sure you check that corner bouquet stamp set out. And look, there's that paper again. Maybe, I, maybe Paper Blooms is my favorite <laughs> because I used it so much. Then there's the ombre paper. Remember we did the cactus. The ombre paper has been probably the most popular thing um, over and over and over again because it's consumable. So, you know, if you get the donkey set and then you get to pick something else, you're not gonna pick two donkey sets unless you're gonna give it away. But you might pick two of the same paper because we know we don't want to ever run out of our paper. Um, and that's the ombre paper. It's gorgeous. Um, and I like the six by six size. I don't know. It just makes it easier. Then there's the level two and I don't have the cards with the stamp set that we use. I couldn't find that card. Oh, here in this, we made this. This is the Berry Blessings level two free with a hundred dollars. The stamp set is excellent. The paper is even more excellent. I use the heck out of that paper. That's for sure. Love it. Um, that's free with a hundred. So here are the, the cards that I showed on my blog day before yesterday. This is the flower and field, field and flower, flower and field. These, we did these, these are team training projects that we did, I uh, believe this month. I love that polka dot so much. And then here's one of the birthday cards that I made for my team. I think those, I don't know. I love all the patterns, but if, of course I'm always drawn to the pink. I don't have that other one here. Um, there were two pinky uh, flirty flamingo patterns in that pack. So anyways, in review, that, that wasn't everything that's gone, but that's everything that I could find real quick. Make sure that you are cool with the celebration catalog going away, that you have gotten everything that you need from the celebration catalog. Let's see if I can flip me around again. There, that's better. Um, okay, 
Okay, how do I just close that? Okay, um, because it's gone. Now, here's the other thing, and maybe I haven't talked about this very much. Celebration, if you don't know, started many years ago. Stampin' Up! was um, financially in trouble, maybe. They were going to have to file bankruptcy. I think it was very early on. And this was kind of their Hail Mary to save their business. They did this celebration. And it saved the company, transformed it, set it on this trajectory of amazingness. And they've done celebration every year since. Um, they, it's changed in the 12 years that I've been stamping up. It's changed um, here and there. I mean, it's all pretty much the same. Something's free with a something order, 50 or 100. Um, there has been, sometimes you could pick things from the annual catalog. Sometimes they're like now is a separate celebration catalog. Sometimes they bring stuff in in the middle. This year, they've decided to have celebration part two in the summer, which is really exciting. July and August, correct me if I'm wrong suddenly, July and August, this doesn't say, July and August, there'll be a whole new catalog of celebration stuff. So July and August, we'll get free stuff with a $50 and maybe a $100 purchase. I don't know if it's the same. But what I do know is that those items in celebration part two will be while supplies last. This year, they use things that were locally sourced. Um, stamps are made in-house. That way they wouldn't run out. You know, in years past, they've run out of celebration items before celebration ended, and then people are like super mad. Um, so that this year, for this one, they made sure that it was stuff that they could not run out of. So celebration in the summer is going to be different. Things like our dies and punches come from overseas. Don't get me started. I know some of you are like, why don't we make those in the United States? Let me tell you, if we made dies and punches in the United States, you'd be paying like $80 for a set of dies. Okay, so just letting you know. <laughs> those are made overseas. So those will be shipped. They'll order all they're going to order. They'll be shipped. And then we will have while supplies last in the summer. Okay, so interesting little history, something to look forward to, because I know July and August are kind of meh for, you know, like there's no real holidays to stamp, it's hot, people are on vacation, but it, we have something exciting to look forward to, especially this summer if we're still on semi-lockdown. Surely not, right? <laughs> Surely not? Okay, the second thing, the last thing I'm going to tell you about celebration, and then I'm going to move on and show you all these other awesome, wonderful things is the starter kit special if you look in your celebration catalog um <laughs> good yes good mental note taken yes you could start saving up your money for july and august um in the catalog if you turn to page 18 the join special this is where you buy a starter kit you become a demonstrator you do not have to be a a sell sell demonstrator you know you don't have to have parties you don't have to have um, Facebook lives like me, you can, but you don't have to. I always get emails from you guys saying, I'm going to buy the starter kit, but I, I don't, I'm not going to, I'm not going to sell. I'm, you know, just that's okay. Don't ever feel like I'm expecting you to build a business. Of course, if you want to build a business, I have lots of things in place to help you do that. But even if you want to just be what we call a hobby demonstrator, that's totally cool. And I would say, Probably 75 to 80% of my team are hobby demonstrators, and it's cool. It's totally fine. We all love stamping up, um, and that's really what that buying the starter kit is about. But anyways, if you look, am I showing you the wrong page? If you look during celebration by Sunday, if you buy the starter kit, it's $99. You get $125 of product, your choice, from either the spring or the annual catalog. Then you get five free packs of paper. Okay, these are all the color families. I love these. I have only used it once because I'm, I can't order these. We got to order them in December so that we could have them to show you, but we can only order one. And so I'm scared to cut into them <laughs> because I can't order more until June. Um, but here's the card that I made using those papers. They're all the um, color families, different patterns than what we have in the catalog this year. Um, isn't she cute? Why haven't I why haven't I been using that stamp set? There's so many stamp sets and so little time for me. Ah! So anyways, you have until Sunday night to do that. I would not wait until Sunday night because 
things get crazy on Sunday nights. The home office isn't even open on Sunday. So make to make sure everything goes through smoothly, if you're gonna buy that starter kit, I would do it today or early tomorrow. Um, so, I mean, of course you can still do it Sunday, but just in case there's any glitches. Um, you, let's see what else, oh, free shipping also, and you get a paper pumpkin kit, and you get to be part of my team, which means you get all my PDFs for free and my classes at a discount. We do team training, team swaps, team challenges, all kinds of stuff. Okay, that's it. I'm gonna tell you about it and that's it. All right, I think it's time for me to turn you guys around. I have a lot of stuff on here today. I'm kind of in the middle of switching over. I move my camera and I feel like it's not gonna be in the right place. Hold on, keep your eyes closed, don't look. Oh gosh, come on. Why does this camera feel like it is so out of place? It's way over to the left. Ah, look at my mess, you guys can see my mess. Okay, well, while I'm here, let me show you this. Just heads up, this is next month's class. This is a big class, it has eight projects, and it's featuring the handsomely suited or well-suited bundle. Okay, if you love masculine stuff, this is coming probably Monday. I'll list it on Monday, okay? PDF, um, class to go, all of that. All right, so I just wanted to give you guys a little heads up. It's super cute. I had so much fun playing with it. Look, who does anybody, when you look at this, do you think of Pee Wee Herman? <laughs> when I made this, I was like, that looks like Pee Wee Herman. I know, I'm aging myself. Some of you won't even know who that is, but I don't know, that made me laugh when I looked at that card. Okay, so that's coming, just a little sneak peek. Um, what's ending today, what's really important that you need to know about is the Easter class. Today's the last day. In fact, I have already started cutting. Let me tell you, you guys, when I planned this class, usually when I plan classes, I have to think about how many die cuts I'm going to have to cut um, because I cut all the die cuts for you. Um, and I, you know, I'm only one human being <laughs> with a bad shoulder <laughs> because of all the cutting. This class, I must have been drinking or something when I was designing this class. This has a ton of die cuts. I have spent the last three days die cutting for this class kit. It is so cute. It's totally worth it. But anyway, look at this. It has one, two, three, four dies on it. Five, five dies. I'm crazy. I've lost my mind. Anyways, super cute, super, super cute. There's four um, Easter treats. Four Easter treats. This one's squished. Isn't that cute, that little bun? And then two cards. You're going to get a full pack of paper, three bolts of ribbon. You can get it with the stamp set, without the stamp set. There's also like a 40-minute video. I show you how to make each one in a video. There's also the PDF. Um, with the stamp set, it's 49. Without the stamp set, it's 34. 15 for the PDF, $20 for my team, $8 priority shipping, which by the way, you guys, why is shipping so expensive? I have been trying to find a better way to ship and there's no better way. There's just not. Those flat rate pad envelopes, $8. The price keeps going up on those and I hate that they're $8. But if I ship something by weight, it's not going to be much cheaper because then I have to buy the envelope. I don't know. It's just ridiculous. Anyhow, sorry. That was just something that I've been really kind of researching this week, trying to figure out. And it's just, it annoys me, but that's neither here nor there. Anyway, this class, you have to register by tonight to get it. The PDF will be, the PDF slash video will be available in my PDF store for the rest of time <laughs> if you need it. But the class kit deadline is today. Club Create, um, the sweet ice cream. Um, Club Create this month features a sweet ice cream bundle. Um, we're going to be doing some kind of technique-y things with a... Um, ink and look at that shaker card you'll get four cards and a 3d um, club create is a subscription it's 39 dollars a month that includes shipping it uh let's see what i was gonna tell you it includes 20 dollars usually give or take a few pennies about 20 dollars in product um, you'll get the sprinkles the ribbon the paper um, you get the pdf and a video every month so it's a subscription you can sign up and then cancel anytime but if you stay for six months in a row you get 25 dollars in product for free on your sixth month 
All right. Um, you can find the link to this at the top of my blog, pinkbucker.com. There is a button at the top that says Club Create. And if you click on that, that will give you all the details. Paper pumpkin. I just got my paper pumpkin kits and they're beautiful. If you need one, I have a few extra, not as many as I normally do. I've already sold several of them. Um, but it's beautiful. Look, it looks, it coordinates with the field and flower, flower and field <laughs> designer series paper. So you get a stamp set, you get the kit, you get a mossy meadow ink spot. Um, $25 shipped. If you want it, you need to email me. Next month's kit. I've already had people asking me for next month's kit. Um, it includes four stencils, which is really fun. I love stencils. We're using a stencil next week for Facebook Friday. Um, so if you're wanting to check out, and it's adventure, it looks very like the national parks to me, like hiking. And I don't know. It looks really, really cute. Um, here's, this is this month's. This is next month. So if you want next month's, you need to check that out as well. Okay, there's that. Um, we have a promotion starting on Tuesday. Um, it's called the Butterfly Bouquet. This will be next Friday's Facebook Friday. This Look at this die. It's one big die. It, cut, it cuts out these stamps like that. They're one big stamp. And I would show you, but it's not in here. <laughs> it's still on my stamp apparatus. Um, but it cuts it all out at once. Um, and then it also comes with those dies. Gorgeous, gorgeous. This will be in the upcoming annual catalog, which by the way, goes live in May this year. Um, but it, uh, this month, no, in March and April, right? What does it say? Yeah, March 2nd through May 3rd. You can also get this gorgeous paper. Look at that. I love this paper. Um, this will not be in the annual catalog. This is just a special for, for two months. And these butterflies, look at this. I love, Stampin' Up! has been doing this a lot. Look, the die cuts those out. So how quick and easy is that gonna be to make a bunch of cards? No stamping, no coloring. All you gotta do is cut it all out, one die, and you're done. So anyways, check that out. There's also some wood grain paper. I didn't pull it out, here it is right here. Which is also exclusive for the next two months only, which I'm sad about, because this needs to stay around, it's beautiful. Um, the other part of this, so it'll be available to everyone March 2nd. If you buy a starter kit right now during February, you can actually put this in your starter kit. So if you wanted it now, you can get it in your starter kit, okay? Okay, oh, and I brought one card over to show you. That's not the, that's not one we're doing next week, but it's pretty. All right, let's move that out of the way. Put that way over here. And one last thing, and then we will get started on today's projects. How about door prizes? Um, two weeks ago, I had two door prizes to give away. Gina Rice and Patricia Coates, you are the winners. Thank you for sharing my video on Facebook. If you, I believe I have both of your mailing addresses, I think. Um, but you can message me, email me. That'll make it quicker if you'd like. Congratulations, ladies. And I do appreciate when you guys share the video on Facebook. It helps me find new customers. And I spent a lot of time cleaning and organizing um, over the last couple of weeks. And I have a ton of prizes. <laughs> so I'm gonna start doubling up on prizes. I think we'll do four stamp sets this week. Treasures of Life and Springtime Joy. If you would like to win one of these, all you have to do is share on Facebook and comment that you shared and then tell me if you win which one you want to win. They're very different. I think you're, you either like this one or you like this one, all right? Or maybe you like both, I don't know. This is my style. By the way, I have my meeting about my stamp set next week, that's all I'm gonna tell you. But this is the style I like. I want it to be drawn like that. Isn't it so cute? Is my mom on here? Mom, are you on here? Look how cute this one is, it's very cute. Anyhow, I have no idea what my stamp set is gonna be, but I'm getting there been brainstorming. All right, so this is Facebook Friday. Let me pull out the PDF. If you hop over to pinkbuckaroo.com, there is a PDF. I now have a new button that has it says, click here for your PDF. It has today's three projects. It has all the supplies I used, the measurements that you'll need, and the things that we talked about. Um, there's a host code here, and it's here too. If you want today's projects as make and takes, 
They'll come like this in the mail. I cut them on Tuesday morning and then I ship them on Wednesday. Um, all you have to do is put in an order between now and Monday at midnight, $35 minimum. Although right now I would think you'd bump it to 50 so you get that free celebration item. And then I will send you today's make and takes for free. They'll look like this, completely free. They'll come in the mail. Uh, you will need today what you will need. Of course, you're going to need ink. I don't do any stamping, but I do send things cut. I send embellishments. Um, I don't emboss either. So if we ever use embossing folder, you have to do your own embossing. But you can see I do a lot of the die cutting, um, punching, all that. But for these projects this week, you will need the stamp set and the dies. Okay, I'm not gonna cut all these flowers because I'm expecting you, if you're gonna make these, you need to have this bundle. Okay, but I will send you all the cardstock and all the embellishments and everything. Um, so this is what we're doing today in bloom. We're also really focusing on this paper. And again, this paper is free till Sunday at 11.50 p.m., something like that. It's free with a $50 purchase. 12 by 12, you get two sheets of each pattern. And I absolutely love it. I love navy with coral or navy with pink. And I know I've told you guys this before, <laughs> maybe not in a while, but when I was a sophomore in college, we moved into an apartment and it was a condo actually. My dad bought it fully furnished and me and my roommates all lived there. Um, and it was decorated and my room was like all pink. And at that time I hated pink. I was like, well, the, the wallpaper was like pink and white stripes like this. And now I love pink and I swear it's because I lived in that room for three years. <laughs> but that's what this paper reminds me of. Um, it reminds me of my college, um, my college home. It was so cute. So anyways, okay, that's what we're doing. This paper, you want it. Believe me, you're going to be sad if you don't have it and then you can't get it because I know there's going to be somebody who emails me on Monday and says, Erica, I'm trying to put in my order, but it won't let me pick my celebration items. And I'm going to say, sorry, friend. So sorry. Celebration is over. So don't let that be you, okay? Don't let that be you. I've tried to remind you every week that celebration ends February 28th. Okay, we are ready. Let me move all of my stuff and we will get started. All right, oh, if you guys didn't see it, usually I make a fourth project. This is so weird. I wish you guys could see how far over. I have this giant table and I'm literally like this far from the end. I don't know what happened to my camera, but I'm gonna have to mess with it. <laughs> I'm like I'm gonna be squished over here in the corner and I don't like it. Um, yesterday, I, okay, so usually I have a fourth product, project, right? And I make a video and I post it Monday. But this week I realized if I did that, then celebration would already be over and you couldn't buy that paper. So I decided to post it last night. So this, the extra bonus video for these, does anybody know what these are called? What are these boxes called? I have no idea. I'm just calling it a fancy treat favor. I actually penned, no, I didn't pen them. I take that back. I screenshotted them on Instagram many times and they were always made by a demonstrator who lived in a foreign country and it was always a foreign language and I couldn't understand what they were. I mean, I would translate, but you know how translate is. So I don't know what it's called. I actually, I mean, I searched high and low. <laughs> I couldn't find it. So I ended up just figuring it out myself, um, but I don't know what they're called. So if you know, what these are called. Tell me, because I don't know. But anyway, so you've got a fourth idea to use your in bloom bundle. All right, let's get started. Let me make sure bow tie box. Oh, Carla, that's a really good idea. Bow tie box. Pillow box. Yeah, it's a little it is puffy like a pillow, but it has these pinched ends, and it is not easy. This box is not easy. You have to really kind of focus <laughs> while you're making it. Pill I don't know. I feel like a pillow box goes in, not out. But a bow tie, I really like that name. Bow tie box. Hmm. It's cute. I know. It is super cute. Kind of like a cracker box. You know what I'm talking about where you crack it open, but still not exactly. 
No, Linda, a little bit different than sour cream box. Sour cream boxes are, are easier than that. I don't know. Okay, let's start with this super duper cute card. And I probably need to get my chamois. Um, this card, we're going to cut out a bunch of those flowers. Now, if you know me, you know I love anything stitched. And I will tell you that when I saw these in the catalog, I didn't even realize they were stitched. You know, we have two floral sets right now in that, in that spring catalog that are what I thought were similar. And I ordered the other set. And then my downline Heather posted a card she made with these. And I could see the stitching on the leaves. And the flowers, and I was like, where is that from? I didn't even see it. So I couldn't wait to get it, and now I'm in love. I hope it stays around. Okay, let's make the um, this right here. I'm calling that the ditch. <laughs> we're going to make a ditch in the middle of our card to stamp our sentiment. Okay, and we're going to have to do a little bit of cutting. First, I'm going to get, I have a Rococo Rose card base. And... We're just gonna put a piece of basic white four by five and a fourth. Now, normally I like to stamp before I put things together, right? We'd stamp and then we'd put it on, but because the way this is laid out, we have to put that paper on there to stamp. I guess you could lay it on there and then stamp, and if it didn't work, I, but I, I feel like you have to go ahead and put the paper on. Now you're gonna need two pieces of this adorable paper. And remember, these measurements are right here on the PDF. So the bigger one is four across by two and three fourths. And on the left edge, you're gonna mark it at one inch, okay? Because we're gonna go down that way. Then the smaller piece is, let me look at my notes, four. Nope, that was wrong. This is four and three fourths. No, oh, yes, what am I doing? Hold on, hold please, rewind. Okay, your smaller piece is four by two and three fourths. Mark the left edge at one inch. Okay, we're gonna go all the way across. Now this is the bottom piece, four by three and a fourth. This time we're gonna mark this side, the right side at one and three fourths. Now don't worry if I'm confusing you. There's a clean recording on YouTube where I actually get it right the first time. And if you wanna rewatch, you can go over there and watch it. So here's the bottom piece, right? Here's that, that tick mark we made. We're gonna put the tick mark in the gutter and that top opposite corner in the gutter. And we're gonna cut it at an angle like that. Now we're gonna do the second piece. The, this time the tick mark is on the left side and we're gonna go all the way down to the bottom and cut, okay? Clear as mud. <laughs> That's why I do the clean recordings. That and so that I can practice and not screw up. All right, now we're gonna take our dimensionals. Oh, Debbie, you just got both flower sets today. Excellent. Hey, Kimberly, you're driving home from Houston. You be careful. That is not a fun drive. All right, so we're gonna put this one and we're gonna match those top corners, okay? Because we only want the white to show through in our ditch. That sounds, that sounds like an ugly word. I probably should come up with a different name for that. And I'm making sure to put dimensionals. Thanks, Nina. I love all the cards that I made with this stuff because I love the color so much. All right, let's match the corners. Put that there. There we go. Now you're gonna stamp, let's make sure my stamp is clean, yep. You're gonna stamp that cutest sentiment ever. Congrats, you're fancy, you're so fancy now, right here. And if you're worried about stamping it, use your Stamparatus, okay? Congrats, you're so fancy now. That was on my million dollar card, that sentiment. And it's so cute and I hadn't even noticed it. Somebody asked me something a minute ago and I missed it about my stamp set. I'll have to go back and see. I don't know. It went by too fast. All right, now let's cut out all the flowers. Let me get my cut and emboss machine over here. Let's 
see if I can get this pulled over. New plates. Don't you love new plates? I've only used them to make yesterday's videos. So you can see <laughs> what I cut. Okay, so we're gonna cut some Misty Moonlight, right? Did I say it right? Misty Moonlight. We're gonna need three of these. So one and two. This stamp set, I mean, this die set comes with two already. Then we're gonna do um, Seaside Spray, and we're gonna do one of these leaves, and we're gonna do, 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 do where is it? This one, right there. All right, and then we've got Rococo Rose, and we're gonna do this one right here, and we're gonna do this one, and these, look, some of them have two stuck together, which is nice because you're less likely to lose them. And then we're gonna do these right here, the little tiny flowers. And then we're gonna get the white and we're gonna do this one and the tiny, I swear these look like eggs, the flower centers. Now we're gonna have to run through twice because we've gotta use some of these dies twice. Okay. Oh, Maria, more. Ask your question again. I didn't see it. I'm sorry. The comments go by so fast. And if I start focusing too much on the comments, then we'll be here forever. Look at that one. It slipped. We're going to have to do it again. All right. Look, now you guys know me and I love to lose my dies. That is sarcasm. I don't love to lose my dies. I just lose my dies all the time. So make sure that you put your dies back where they go as soon as you take them off. You know, today I was cutting um, a bunch of rectangles and I went to throw all the trash into the recycle bin and there was a rectangle die still stuck on the paper. I think that's how it happens sometimes, but I also think... They get swept away. I don't know, especially these smaller ones. All right, so we got that. We got that. We got all these. What else did I need? I needed a blue one. I needed to cut. I need to cut that one again because I did bad. Did poorly. And then we will cut. We got that. See, this is a little bit tedious. I didn't want to do it ahead of time like I normally do because I wanted you guys to see these. Okay, I think that's all we need. And you know, you can use whatever flowers that you want. You don't have to use exactly the ones that I used. All right, I'm sorry if I'm missing comments and questions. Please, please let me know. Ask again or message me or email me. The comments go so fast. And then afterwards, if I try to go back and find the comments, it's tough because Facebook kind of they get all unorganized. They're all jumbled in it and they're not always in the order in which they came through. So it, sometimes they don't make sense. It's very weird. Oh, I just dropped one. Better pick that up. Okay. Now I think we, we've got everything that we need. Let's get those out and let's start assembling. I'm going to use little bit of Tombow. Uh, I was going to say, can you get stamp set with a pro kit? Uh, you. Um, if you're asking about a class kit, you can get the stamp set, yes. If you're, oh, look at that. What am I, new here? If you um, get the starter kit, you can pick out any stamp sets you want, but no celebration stamp sets. Maybe that's what you're asking. Um, celebrations uh, stamp sets do not come in your starter kit. You're already getting $25 in free product and free shipping. Um, but, but as soon as you buy the starter kit, you get an email from Stampin' Up with your demo ID number. So then you can immediately log in and order as a demonstrator. And demonstrators earn celebration products as well on all your purchases. So... You know, sometimes you're like, but I wanted the celebration stamp set in my starter kit. And I'm like, you know what? You can still get it. 
after you buy your starter kit, and then you get your discount. Okay, so I am going to layer these. I am using, of course, dimensionals. And I'm just gonna go through here. I think this one's gonna use a glue dot. A magnetic bowl. We've talked about the magnetic bowl. Isn't it from the hardware store? And yes, I should get it. Yes, my friend Sue made me this most super adorable frame with a magnet and I'm a hot mess and I don't use it. I use it sometimes, but it's never where I need it. I'm constantly making a mess. Um, but yeah, a magnet bowl. And you know, <laughs> you know, I'll show you guys something. Let me finish this. Harbor Freight. Baleen says Harbor, Harbor. Hello. Can I speak? Harbor Freight. She got her bowl at Harbor Freight. Um, I have to show you what I got in my in my stocking from my husband. I'll show you just a second when I'm done with this. So I'm gonna put all the little flower centers and the take your pick tool, if you have putty on it, mine's almost out, is great for picking up those flower centers. All right, let's see, we're gonna do one more. I'm just, I'm really sticking with all the same colors. You know, some flower centers have a different colored center, some have the same. Just do whatever you want, whatever you want. Okay, and I think that looks good. Now, hold on, we are not done. We must add a bow, right? Now, I'm gonna take my linen thread. Okay, I have to tell you guys a funny story. So, Pepper is my one of my dogs, she's a, a little over a year. She's obsessed with twine. I, she has never been a chewer. She doesn't chew on things she's not supposed to, but she has started finding packages of twine and I, and I don't know where she's finding them. She's not eating the twine, she's just unraveling it and then playing in it, which is fine until she gets tangled in it. And I am super scared that she's going, I'm not gonna be, you know, be around where she has twine and she chokes herself with it. So I, I have, in the next room, I have boxes of, um, you know, like if I'm preparing for a class to go. I've got boxes in there. I'm sorting, you know, material, staging it, whatever, housing it there. So I kept thinking that's where she was getting the twine. And then, so I made sure it was all closed up. Well, she's still getting the twine and I cannot figure it out. It's really scaring me because I'm really scared she's gonna get tangled up and she's gonna choke. Um, my daughter, literally, she like came stumbling into my daughter's room one day, a few weeks ago, all, <laughs> all wrapped up in twine. And I blamed the girls at first. I'm like, who has this thread in their room that the dog is getting into? And then I realized, it was the snail twine combo pack. It was me, it was my fault. All right, I'm putting some little pearls around and on the flowers. So I have, there we go, ta-da, we're done. I'm still telling you a story, so I'm gonna pause there so you can see the beautiful card that we made. I love those dies. All right, so while I'm cleaning up, I'll finish telling you the story, because we have one more, we have two more projects, so don't leave. So the other day, my mom's dog's here. Okay, my, my dad was in the hospital for a few days, so I was keeping my mom's dog. Millie is a corgi, and she is a mess. She is, <laughs> if you know corgis, you know what I'm talking about. And she likes to eat everything, twine included. And I found her with a twine, and I thought, okay, seriously, where are they getting the twine? Finally, I came in my office one day this week, and they were both standing there, and Pepper had opened up the drawer that has the twine. It's the second drawer from the bottom and she had somehow pulled it open and was getting twine out of the drawer. I'm like, my dog is a genius first and second, oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm gonna have to put child locks on the drawers. I, I mean, seriously. Now I know my mom said, was it Millie? And I will know, Millie's legs are way too short. She, she can't open it. She's got little stubby legs, but I'm sure she was encouraging pepper you know like okay pepper open it give me some twine I don't get it I don't know I don't know why they love it but she does she does not chew on anything else but twine oh that dog she's actually very good she's a little barky 
and she loves twine. I don't know. It's very weird. Okay, this is our second card. I think this is my favorite of the three. We're going to make a little ombre stripe in the middle. And I wanted, I had this idea and I pulled out our different pinks and I just couldn't get four of our pinks to create that ombre spectrum like I really wanted, right? They were just all a little bit too off. So what I did is I got Blushing Bride and um, Rococo Rose and we're gonna use our blending brush to make one side, one of the strips darker. So it'll still be the same color in that little same color spectrum. Um, but we're just making it darker with the ink. Okay, so blending brushes, you guys, are on non-orderable status. These must be one of those things that comes from overseas. Um, China is having Chinese New Year, so it slows things down. So they are unorderable until, I don't know, like the end of March. Hopefully you have them. If you don't, can also use a sponge it's not going to be exactly the same but it will it'll work now why don't I have my ink pads on that tray I do not know here is one but where is the other hmm the, what is it is it over here it is over here why is it over here weird okay so the blending brushes come three to a pack and I have one for pink one for red one for blue and so on. Since I'm doing two different pinks, I'm just gonna use the same one. And I'm gonna start with a lighter pink. You can, you know, like if you're worried about it, having the same color, you can just keep running it on your paper until it gets, you know, pretty much gone. You can wash it um, with Dawn, but honestly, I'm not too worried about it. These colors are close enough that it'll be fine. All right, so I have just um, a strip of cardstock here. It's a little bit longer than the rectangle and it's probably an inch and a half wide. I'm gonna cut off a quarter inch. Actually, I think I'm gonna do three eighths of an inch because I think quarter inch is too small. I'm gonna cut off three eighths of an inch on each side. Okay, so we'll have light brushing, light blushing bride, dark blushing bride. Okay, there's that one. And Twine Addicts Anonymous. Yeah, Carla, I could join that club with her. Isn't that just so weird? I mean, I cannot tell you how many packs of that snail twine, because it was part of my Club Create kit this month. So I had a whole bunch of them waiting to be packed up into their kits. I cannot tell you how many I had to <laughs> reorder because she destroyed them literally chewed them up and then got herself tangled. Oh, makes me so nervous to think about it. I mean, eating it would be scary, but getting tangled up in it is scary too. Those dogs. Okay, so now we've got that. I'm gonna bring over my little paper cutter. I'm gonna use my, mm, nope, I actually do need my trimmer because that one doesn't have quite the small enough measurements. Okay, so look here. I said half an inch, but when I did half an inch, I think it's too narrow because when I originally made this one, I think I overlapped them. So let's do three eighths of an inch, which is hard to see on this trimmer. There we go, three little tick marks. So that still looks pretty small. Three eighths of an inch, let's do half an inch and then we'll overlap and that Three eighths of an inch will be the last one. I'm probably not making any sense, but in my mind, I am making sense. All right, and then half an inch over here. There we go. Boy, that's a huge difference. <laughs> that is not three eighths, that is a quarter. We'll, we will get it worked out. Okay, let me bring this back over because we're gonna use this grid paper to line these up straight, okay? I love our grid paper for so many reasons, but this is um, 
really a good way to use it too, to help you get things straight. So I'm gonna line my rectangle. I have just a little bit of adhesive there, so it'll stay stuck, okay? So it won't move. I'm gonna take some of that Tombow, just a little bit. Erica, do not get crazy with the Tombow. Oh, I love Tombow. I've really been using Tombow a lot lately. I like it, but I also make a mess. Okay, I'm using, I'm using Tombow because I can move it around. Let's start with our light Rococo Rose, which is this one. Okay, we're gonna start down here. And then we're gonna take our dark Blushing Bride Hmm. All right. Well, that's okay. Now look, I already am crooked. So use those lines on the grid paper to make sure that your lines are straight. Okay. So now I'm going to take the dark blushing bride because we're going dark to light. I'm going to cover it up. You know what? Nope. I got to do this different. Since I cut them fatter, I'm going to do the light blushing bride at the top and then we'll work our way down because the skinny one is gonna be at the bottom. Okay, let's line those up like that. And last but not least, the really skinny one. Really skinny. You don't, don't make it complicated like I'm making it, just cut them all the same. <laughs> Just cut them all three eighths of an inch and I think it'll be perfect because that looks too big. Oh well, we're going with it, whatever. It's too big. Ugh. I don't like it, I'm gonna have to fix it. This is the dark, you think I can cut it? No, nope. we're going with it, I'm going with it, whatever, we're pretending like it's all the same, okay? All right, we're just going to pretend. They're all equal. So now we've gone from dark Rococo Rose, then Rococo Rose, then um, dark Blushing Bride, and light Blushing Bride to make that ombre stripe that is not equally spaced and equally measured, but we're okay. Nothing, it doesn't have to be perfect, right? It does not. All right, so I've got a Knight of Navy card base. I think I actually put Misty Moonlight on the PDF, but it is Knight of Navy. We've got that really fun pattern paper, designer series paper. This is a, and you know what I did not put, I did not tell you guys the size of the stitched rectangle. So let me measure that in case. Oh, that's a great idea, Deborah. The silicone craft sheet, if it had, if it had lines on it. What a great suggestion. Okay, let's see this. Rectangle measures three by four and three eighths, in case you were wondering. All right, so now we're gonna stamp our sentiment. What are we using? You are amazing in Knight of Navy, right there in the middle. This little label is cut with these stitched bloom dies. Is that what they're called? the dies that go with the in bloom stamp set. All right, we're gonna put that right in the middle, whoops. Then I have cut out four vellum leaves, or stems, maybe we should call them a stem. And hopefully I can stick that under there like that. And we're gonna get another one, we're gonna do this one so that it faces a different direction. I'm gonna do it upside down, or yeah, upside down, backwards. Okay, slide that under. There we go, and now this is crooked. Okay, and then down here, we will do another one. I love to use vellum. It adds something to your project without it being too much. You know what I'm saying? Like it gives just a little variation, but it doesn't feel like it's too much. Because if we had used a color here, it would have taken away from our ombre. 
All right now we've got, I did cut these out ahead of time. We have got this large stitched flower, just in white. Oh, we need little dimensionals. Then we've got two of the smaller ones right there. Oh, my, yes, yes. Okay, okay, I forgot. Yes, I'll get it, I'll get it. The present for my husband. Sorry, I got distracted. Talking about Pepper. I'll get it when I'm done with this, I promise. Somebody here suggested it, I'm pretty sure. Because I actually bought it for myself and gave it to him to put in my stocking. <laughs> you know how that goes, ladies. All right, I'm going to put, these are the Misty Moonlight dots from the In Color Dots. Is that what they're called? Dots. And last but not least, Pepper's favorite, the Blushing Bride. Or is it Petal Pink? Whichever, it still works. I think it's Blushing Bride twine from the Snail Twine Combo Pack. Did you guys see that? Double bow, okay? You fold your twine in half, pretend like you just have one piece, and just tie it like one piece, and then you have a double bow, okay? Nothing fancy. Just tell your brain you have one piece in your hand and tie it like you would. And a glue dot, and we'll call it done. Super duper cute. You are amazing. So many ways to use this stamp set. The fonts are fantastic. I love that scripty kind of school teacher font. You know, like, remember your teacher always had like perfect cursive. All right, what do you guys think? It's my favorite. I love this one. And they're all a little bit different, <laughs> especially my fat ombre stripe. Whatever. Whatever. Okay, let me show you what my husband bought me. So I'm pretty sure somebody here suggested it. It's a magnet stick, so I can put it down in my recycle bin and find any dies that I may be missing. <laughs> I have yet to have to use it, but I thought that was pretty funny. Do you guys have that? Somebody here told me about it. We got it at, oh, Tractor Supply. Tractor Supply. The things we put in each other's stockings. Pretty funny. Alrighty, let's do one more. I hope you guys are liking these projects. I love this bundle and I love, love, love this paper. I can't believe it's almost gone. All right, last card. We're gonna do some watercolor. Of course, I love watercolor. Let me make some room here. Clean up my mess, and we will get started. Okay, these things can go over here. I don't need this. I don't need that. I just need that and this tray. Now, <laughs> when I filmed the video for the little box that we don't know what it's called, um, I in the video I said I had leftover watercolor paper from the last card. Check that video out to see how I made them. Well, I didn't realize I was gonna upload that video first. <laughs> I mean, whatever, but still, it was kind of like, oops. But now it's up. So remember, all these projects have clean recordings, which means it's just a clean video tutorial without all the chit chat and all the silly and the talking and the stories. So when you wanna come back and make it, you can go and make your project. Okay, let's do our watercoloring because we do have to do that first to give it some time to dry. I have just cut a little piece of watercolor paper and I'm gonna tape it down to some uh, just chipboard with painter's tape. I go through a ton of painter's tape in here. Now I've got a spritzer, which I didn't put on the supply list, but I really think you need a spritzer if you're gonna watercolor. Get your paper nice and wet, okay? You're priming your paper. And then grab your Rococo Rose, and I'm gonna use a block this time to make kind of a palette. And I've got my water painter here, get it nice and wet. I'm gonna squeeze a little bit of water over here 
and I'm just going to add some color. Now, for for what I what I really like to do is is to do a whole coat of color, just dropping ink so that it's dark in some spots, and then I like to just walk away and let it dry, then come back and do it again and let it dry. Obviously, for the video, we don't have time for that. But anyway, if you want to see how this has got some dark and some light in it, that's because I did several, well, I did two layers of ink like that. This one is lighter and I just did one layer of ink. So it just depends on what you have time for. All right, we're gonna move that out of the way. And you know, I really thought that I had a piece of watercolor already done. So that's not going to dry in time. Well, we'll have to find it. We are using the gold hoops again today. I love the gold hoops. So I mentioned to you guys that we have a new catalog. The annual catalog used to come out at the beginning of June. Now it's coming out at the beginning of May. So that means the retired list will be coming out in April. So that means... You need to, if you want the in colors, which is this set of in colors, Rococo Rose, Purple Posy, oh, Misty Moonlight, and what am I missing? Terracotta Tile. If you don't have your ink pad, your reinker, your marker, your blend, your cardstock, your ribbon, you need to make sure and do that soon. Because as soon as, as we get closer to that retired list, that stuff starts selling out because um, we know it's going to retire. So make sure that you've looked at all that. That may be something you want to order right now to get celebration products here at the end of celebration. Um, let's look real quick at that in the catalog because I don't want you guys to not know. So we have these two sets of in colors, page 143. These are the set that are retiring, okay? So make sure you have all of that before the retirement craziness begins. Um, re-inkers, your re-inkers for your ink pad is really what I want to make sure that you have. Okay, so I have cut a stitched scalloped rectangle from Crumb Cake, and I'm just going to stamp some of the flowers, some of them in full strength, some of them I'm stamping off, and I'm just using Crumb Cake card, uh, Crumb Cake ink. One thing that that I always make a mistake of when I'm doing this. If I stamp off like this, and then I go to stamp again on the piece, it'll look like that because I stamped off and only half of the ink came off. So make sure you're paying attention. I screw it up almost every time I do this because I'm not paying attention to what I'm supposed to be paying attention to. All right, I think that's good. Oh, now I'm going to take another one of my blending brushes. Seaside Spray, did I forget to say that? Um, oh, it's not Misty Moonlight, Pretty Peacock, thank you. Oh, I'm so glad you said that. I was thinking it was Misty Moonlight. I forgot about Pretty Peacock. I never use that color. I never use it. I forgot it was still around. <laughs> I love Misty Moonlight. Yes, you're right. Misty Moonlight is a new one. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, look in the catalog. It's the 2019 to 2021 in colors. Not Misty Moonlight. I misspoke. All right, so I'm going around the edges, inking them up, giving it lots of interest, lots of color, kind of that grungy look. Um, now, okay, hold on. Hold, please. Because that piece of, of uh, watercolor paper that I threw in the recycle bin... We're gonna need it. Hmm. Well, all right. That's all right. We'll make do. You know what we'll do? We'll turn on the heat tool and dry it. I don't like doing this either because it gives you a different look. But you know what? Sometimes you just gotta. Sometimes you're in a hurry. And sometimes you threw away the piece that you had for your video. And so you just gotta make do. So we'll just sit here and chat. Hopefully you guys are warming up wherever you are. I know you guys up in the Midwest and the North are laughing at our snow. 
But down here, we don't have, we're not equipped. We don't have snow plows. We don't have, you know, stuff to wear. I mean, I don't even wear a jacket. I mean, I might wear a coat once a year, right? We don't have waterproof gloves. Um, our electric grid is, is designed for heat in the summer, not for the winter. It, for the first time ever in history, we had a wind chill warning. Never, ever, ever in South Texas have we been issued a wind chill warning. That's how cold it was. The wind chill got below zero. So it was, it was fun. The kids enjoyed the snow. They got an entire week off of school. Missing more school. You know, my kids are in school here. But <laughs> my, my oldest only goes every other day. I feel like they have missed so much school this year. And then they missed a whole week because of snowmageddon. And, so, and they don't have to make it up. Which, I mean, I guess it's fine, but how much school are we going to miss, really? They have implemented these early release days this semester for the teachers. Now, look, don't think I'm bashing teachers because I was a teacher for 17 years, all right? You guys know how much I love my teachers. But... <laughs> I also feel strongly about our kids being in school. Um, and they've implemented these early release days. Am I already missing dies? Why is it that by the time we get to the third project, things get crazy? I don't think I even use that die. Where is it? I'm going to have to use my magnet. Oh, wait, is it this one? All right, well, we'll use this one. What the world, Erica? I need, like, an assistant to stand over me all day. All right, that's okay. We'll just use these. Anyhow, whatever I was saying, I think our kids need to be in school. And now they've implemented these early release days. There's, like, I don't know, like eight of them or something. And my middle schoolers, they don't even go to school that those days because it's, all they do is sit on the floor of the gym that day and, like, watch – videos on bullying and stuff so and then they say they're gonna have assignments I cut out that little bow did you guys notice that die it's super cute they watch videos and they say they're gonna have assignments but I don't know all I know is on Wednesday when they were here my youngest was walking out the door at 8 45 to go play outside she said she was done with school for the day so <laughs> they're missing a lot of school and you know okay I get it, unprecedented times, blah, blah, blah. But you know what? I'm pretty darn sick of it. <laughs> I'm having a hard time being positive about any of it anymore. I know we're all in the same boat, but the school thing and my kids really, really, really bothers me. All right, I'm gonna emboss this. We've inked it, we've stamped it, we've done all that. We're gonna put it in the Tasteful Textiles embossing folder. You have to take off the plates um, two and three, and you just put it down flat, put on plate number four, and run it through. Yeah, the magnetic sheets you can get um, lots of places. I get them from Stampin' Storage because I think they're the best quality. They're real sturdy, but I mean, you can get them in a lot of places. You can even buy magnetic vent covers at the hardware store. Some people use those. I actually borrowed a stamp set from my downline, Terry. I don't know where it is, but she has them. Her magnet sheet fits in her stamp case. It's so nice. Terry's so organized. Is Terry even here? Sometimes she's here. And it was so like organized and beautiful. And I'm so worried about giving her her stamp set back because <laughs> I probably am gonna make a mess of it. Terry, I hope you don't get mad. I'm almost done with it. Okay, oh look, no, that's not it. This is what the piece looked like, the scrap that I had. That's the one I just used. Oh, who knows, who knows where it went. But it looked just like that. But it had enough room for me to cut those flowers out. All right, let's put this on with some dimensionals. Tasteful touches, tasteful textiles. Did I say touches? It's tasteful textiles, yes. Tasteful textiles. 
All right, so I'm gonna put this so that those flowers, you can see them up there in the right top corner and the bottom left corner mostly. Then I've got this gold hoop. And do I have regular dimensionals? I do. We're not gonna be able to see these because of the flowers that I cut. So I'm gonna stick this on with some dimensionals like this. It's gonna be doing some double duty. It's gonna hold on to my flowers. We'll put this big one here in the middle and we'll put this little one right here. And you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go rogue and do it totally different than I did on my original card, considering I did not see the die. There's so many dies on that in that set. Sometimes I, you know, you can't, you can't see it and it's right in front of you. So maybe it is there. Maybe it's not. I wouldn't surprise me. I'm gonna have to use my magnet. My recycle bin is super full right now because of all the cutting I did for the Easter class. If I have to find it in there, it's gonna be, it's gonna be tricky. All right, we're gonna put, let's do, I cut out these ahead of time, the little crumb cake flower center. And up here on this one, we'll put the little egg <laughs> flower center. And then here, we're gonna put this bow. Don't you love when there's a bow die and you don't have to actually tie your ribbon? You can just cut it out. Okay, and before I move on from that, I don't wanna forget, I'm adding Wink of Stella to this to make it sparkly. Okay. There we go. I have a couple of Seaside Spray leaves. <sighs> Carla, amen, sister, I'm right there with you. I know I don't wanna get into any of it because we all have different feelings about it and that's totally fine. We can all respect each other's feelings about it, but I'm done. <laughs> I'm done with COVID. I am willing to put on my mask and go about my life. I, I cannot, I cannot see my kids missing out on living their lives any longer, especially when it comes to their education and their mental health. We've had a lot of issues because of it. And I know other moms are expressing the same things with their kids. It's very, very difficult. All right, let me get my chamois. Luckily, we have been very, very lucky here in Texas. We have not gone on any kind of real strict lockdown since when it all started. But school definitely has not been the same. Okay, this is a basic white. And I'm using that super cute sentiment again. Congrats, congrats. you're so fancy now. And I'm gonna punch it with my tailored tag punch right here on the end. And we need to cut it so that it'll fit on our card. And we're gonna stick it right there. Oh, still too long. I may need to completely cut it down. Okay, well, I must have put it, the whole thing over too far. Hmm. Mm -hmm -hmm. All right, well. We'll put it there. Another dimensional. Yes, you're gonna need extra stamps for sure. That bow, we're gonna have to adjust the bow. Let's see, what if we turned the bow and made it go that way? There we go. So cute. All right, what do you guys think? I love this card too. It's got that special paper that reminds me of my apartment. Okay, that's it. We've reached the end. And I only lost one die in the process. Maybe. I don't know how many dies are in here. I'm gonna have to count. Let's look at what we made. We made the watercolor flower card. We made the ombre stripe card. We made the flower ditch card. <laughs> what, I, I need to come up with another name. I can't use the word ditch on my card but that's what that is. And we didn't make them, but it's also a video over there for you to go look at. The little, I like Carla's name, bow tie boxes. All right, guys, don't forget. Celebration ends on Sunday. You have until Sunday. To, oh, here it is. <laughs> 
It wasn't on the magnet. I found it. Yay, I don't have to go digging for it. Remember, you have until the end of uh, Sunday night to take advantage of celebration. To get this paper, if you want it for free, it's free with a $50 order. Use the host code. Um, I will send you the three make and takes for free next week. Um, if your order is over $150, you're going to get Stampin' Rewards. Don't use the host code. I will still send you the projects for free. I would rather you get the Stampin' Rewards um, if you're putting in an order that big. Um, so make sure that you don't use the host code if your order is over $150. I think that's it. All right. I will be back next Friday, 2 o'clock. Uh, we will be doing butterflies. And don't forget the Easter class deadline is today. And I think that's it. All right, you guys, thanks for joining me today. Remember, this is free. Go get it. It's yours to do whatever you want. Have a wonderful weekend, and I will see you next week. Bye, everybody.